Welcome to today's video on what's wrong. I will present you a code that is not working or following the best practice and you need to figure out what's wrong. Before we continue, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, that way you never miss a future notification. Let me switch to today's question. Today's question is a little special. I have a project here that has multiple projects in a solution. I have the web project here and when I run the project, basically you will see an exception here and perfect. You can see the service collection cannot be modified because it is read only. I want you to pause the video and analyze on what's wrong. Now I can hand you the complete code here and you can dive into that on what is going on but let me make it a little simple. The problem that you see here is inside program.cs and that problem is there between line 11 and line 35. I want you to pause the video and try to figure out on what is wrong here. To give you a small hint here, the exception that is being displayed is not exactly telling you what is wrong. So try to see if you can figure out a mistake with program.cs here. That will throw the exception of service collection cannot be modified because it is read only. I hope you were able to figure that out. When we run the application here and we are trying to add services on the builder object, it says here that the service collection cannot be modified because it is read only. And when it says cannot be modified, it is talking about this builder object. Now why is that read only? That is read only because on that builder the build method has already been invoked. The mistake here is that builder.build should be after all the services are added to the container. If you add it before, then once builder.build is called, you cannot add any more services and hence the exception. With that change here, if you run the application again, it should work now. And perfect, the application is up and running. So always remember that when you are adding services, you have to add them before the builder.build. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and leave a comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that right now. That way you will not miss any future updates from .NET Mastery. Mm -hmm.